I'll show you a one minute video clip in which I'm going to have you do a count. With an audience this size, it's, it's a very interesting phenomenon. Here's what it looks like. Okay, so there's uh, six students, three white shirts, three black shirts. There's two basketballs, they're passing them back and forth. Your task is to count the number of passes in one minute between the white shirted students. Number of passes, they're going to be moving around, so it's complex, I wanted to show it to you. Number of passes by the white shirted students in one minute. Those of you that have seen this, don't blurt out the answer, but it's a very interesting effect where it turns out there's a gender differences on uh, attention to this kind of detail with a lot of action going on. I won't tell you which gender is more accurate than the other, but we'll see <laughs> at the end. Okay, so here we go. Okay, how many did you get? 18, 17, 13, okay, that's quite a spread. All right, good. Anybody see anything unusual? Show of hands, anything really unusual in this state? About half of you. So let me show it to you again. This time, don't count the passes. You're just watching globally what this looks like. How could you not see a guy in an ape suit? Come on. <laughs> How many of you saw the gorilla the first time? Honestly, now. Okay. Actually, that's about right. Uh, this is Dan Simon's research at Indiana. Uh, it's called perceptual blindness or tension blindness, where you're attending to one task, you miss really obvious things, like a guy in an ape suit. <laughs> So, uh, uh, cognitively, we are primed to look for something. I primed you by giving you a, a detailed task. I upped the ante by saying one gender was better than the other. By the way, there's no gender difference. <laughs> and, uh, and this is a huge problem, in, in not just dealing with the paranormal and stuff, but all of science. We're primed to look for certain data to fit our theories. We can't help.